Hi, I'm Lauren Strand, and today I want to talk about the My Day Today app today. So this was an app that I built some time ago with the assistance of uh, fellow MVP Renee Modery and has since then uh, continued to iterate. Now, what is the My Day Today app before I waffle on about it? Ultimately, what I was looking for was a way to display what I've got on for the day and um, in terms of meetings and what I've got on for the day in terms of tasks, a way to be able to see where I'm at in the day and my progress, um, and also to be able to run the Pomodoro timer. Now, all of these things are available as separate apps, so I can look at uh, my tasks in to-do, I can look at my, um, my calendar in Outlook calendar, I can also look at the clock in Windows down in the bottom right corner. Um, and if I want to do a Pomodoro timer, I can just use a voice assistant, I can do something on my watch, or I can just you know watch the clock. But really what I was looking for was to not have to continually switch between apps, because the more often we switch between apps, the more often we get lost, the more often we get distracted. The moment I go look at to-do, I will see other tasks, or if I go to Outlook, I will see other things um, that are on for the week or emails that have come in. So what I was really aiming to do was to create something that simplified the experience. Now, I was hoping to really just have something like this that was a really clear view to show this is what I've got on. And unfortunately, nothing really exists um, inside of, of the Microsoft 365 environment to give us that. Within Outlook on the web, we do have the ability to show our calendar, to show our tasks, but they're just not the same. They don't occupy the entire screen or they occupy the entire screen. And what I mean by that is if I click on the calendar app uh, within Outlook on the web, I will see all calendar and that's really it. Or tasks is a sliver to the side or the other way around. And that didn't work for me because what I wanted to be able to do was at a glance, see what have I got on now and for the rest of the day. Um, a really good way to kind of keep me in check because to be honest, we've got so many things in the day that it gets a little bit overwhelming. So I built the My Day Today app to be exactly that is what is my day today? Not the rest of the week, uh, not other tasks that I've got for any other time. What is it today? What do I need to get done today? So ultimately what this is doing is using Power Apps. Um, it also pulls from my Outlook calendar to give me that view. It pulls from my Outlook tasks slash to do to give me those tasks as well and brings in a little bit of intelligence with it. So let me, let's take a look at those features. So loading the My Day Today app can be done from within Power Apps or you can actually, if you want, just pin it to the home screen on Windows 10 and load it quickly and easily. When we load it up initially, it will pull any data based on our current stats and where we're at in the day and display it on the screen. It's a pretty simple app. Up the top, we've got a clock showing us where we're at today. We've got the calendar view here showing us um, how many meetings we've got or appointments um, and actually showing us whether it is just on our own or whether it is with another person. So versus, you know, appointment versus meeting. Um, what the location of it is. So this is a Teams meeting versus an in-person one and we get a bit of a scroll bar, but we also get this statistic showing us how many um, appointments we've completed for the day versus how many remain to give us a bit of a run sheet and make us feel kind of, you know, see how we're actually tracking throughout the day. Uh, so looking over at tasks, same thing. We can see here a bunch of tasks that I've created. Uh, we've got a scroll bar to see them. Behind, as you can see, is the Bing image of the day that all get updated every day. And we've got this ability to be able to simply refresh the screen uh, so if I click off this any task to fill the screen um, and mark that off as complete in to do. Now it will reload every minute automatically, um, but I can actually just press the refresh button um, and it will disappear off and the increment uh, completed will show up as four. Remaining will then shrink down to seven. We just have to wait for a bit of sync time and there we go. But then we've also got the Pomodoro aspect, which is why we're here. Now the Pomodoro um, application or aspect of the application starts a gigantic clock. Now if I hit this button, it transitions us over to another screen and begins a 25 minute counter. Now this being a power app, you are welcome to change the counter yourself to be a different amount of time. Um, and effectively this will simply count down every minute, shrink down to 24 minutes, 23, 22 and so on, you get the picture. Uh, and at the end of it, we'll simply roll, roll back to the previous screen. Now, if hypothetically I've finished my task ahead of time and I don't need this Pomodoro timer, 
then I can actually just hit cancel and it will drop me back to the same screen that I was at before. Now, the thing that's important to note is a Pomodoro timer is useful, but part of the reason why we're here is to figure out how does this integrate in with Microsoft 365? Because so far I've shown you the Outlook calendar, I've shown you tasks from To Do, uh, and I've shown you this Power app. But where the magic really comes into it is when I hit the Pomodoro timer button, it will actually click off a workflow, which I borrowed from Style and adapted a little bit, um, to actually um, put an appointment in our calendar. So what you can see here is the calendar that I'm working with today. Um, we can see the appointments that were showing up in the app, and the workflow will kick off in the background and create a new focus time appointment. Now, it being workflow, so I'll have to continue filling the air right now um, as we wait for this to arrive. But effectively, this workflow, there it is, it pops up. So now it's created now a focus time appointment um, in my calendar. And what this has now done is set my team status to be focusing, slash do not disturb. It's also turned my Win 10 um, notification activity area into focus mode as well, uh, focus assist, so I'm not getting any notifications. So this is the crucial thing here is when I've actually hit this um, Pomodoro timer button, it's not just that a clock has shown up on my screen, it's that it's actually driving the behavior of my applications to ensure that I want. Now, when that timer finishes, or if I hit cancel, another workflow will actually um, come back in and remove that focus time appointment uh, from my calendar because it's superfluous, it doesn't actually need to be there, it's really just there to set um, the present status. So in a few moments that will go, I'm filling airtime, something I'm really good at doing, uh, until that appointment disappears, and there we go. So looking at the workflow itself, we can see here, so here is my Power Apps trigger. Um, when that runs, when I press that button, it looks at my calendar, pulls out the uh, focus time appointment, uh, gets the current time, um, so it knows where we're at now, sets the future time to be 25 minutes, as that's the interval that I've set, um, and if we'll basically take a copy of existing appointments to, uh, existing focus time appointments to create its own copy of it. So really simple operation there, and the cleanup is effectively the same. Um, the difference is that when it'll actually do it, it will delete the event. So as you saw there, when I canceled the Pomodoro timer, um, or the timer finished, it then went and removed it. So how do we make use of this My Day Today app? Well, the reality is we need to have a dedicated screen for it to work, because otherwise, if I don't see it, I don't really know what's going on throughout the day. And that's the whole point of the app, is to actually see it um, in action. So the way I tend to work is that I have a dedicated screen set up for it um, that literally has the app on it and nothing but the app. And um, that's all it really shows on it. Um, I don't load any other applications on it. Um, I just have that one app that opens every day and sits there every day. Effectively, it's like having a dedicated display, like a clock or a calendar, um, paper calendar, whatever it might be, um, or like our whiteboard here. Um, having that just simply on all time. So that uh, screen needs to stay dedicated as is, and then I can work on my other screen. So yes, we do need to have a decent setup here where we've got um, a docking station or something that can handle multiple monitors. And yes, you do need a, I guess, a disposable or a spare monitor uh, to be able to run this. Uh, obviously the app, I've got it running right now on a 14-inch um, USB powered monitor, uh, but you can use it on any other size monitor you want. Um, so, hope you've enjoyed the My Day Today app. Um, it's available on GitHub. The link will be in um, the, uh, the description of this video. So, please check out the rest of this series if you haven't already. Um, check out the app, customize it, improve it. Uh, please give me feedback as to how I can potentially improve it. And I'd also love to hear how you're um, using it yourself. Thanks for watching.